Hey guys, welcome to Season 3, Episode 3. We're in Berlin this time for the next mission. So after the loss of Grey in the previous level, we have to go and link up with Olivia and find her, and she's in Berlin. So we're starting off with the lockpick, the silver ball and the fiber wire, and we're going to start at the radio station location because that gets us straight into the mission and we don't have to do any of the initial petrol station scene. So there isn't a real cutscene for this one, we're just going to zoom straight in on 47, preparing for the mission. Very serene, scenic place to start a hitman mission. But what's going to happen this time is we're heading to Berlin, we're heading to this nightclub. There's 10 ICA agents in the nightclub who are looking for us. They know we're coming, they're hunting us. What we need to do is we're trying to get five of them to send a message to Zhao to make sure that they know that we have the upper hand still, despite them taking Grey out. So we're going to follow this path down towards the club. Because we've started at the radio station, we don't have that initial agent off the bat. So we will run around and grab this brick from the beetle, run through this gap here. And what we're going to do is head round to the right in front of this big tanker. Pick up the spray can. I like to pick up the throwable objects on this mission because they're great to cause distractions and a great way to move the targets away from their surroundings. So follow this round to the right. There's a little bit of suspicion, but they won't see you. Next thing, just check the two on the right. The enforcers just here aren't looking, which they aren't. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw our spray can, or our crowbar in this case, <laughs> into this area to distract Thames. Thames is the first one we're going to take out. And what we want to make sure is that neither of these enforcers are actually looking in his direction. He's going to walk over to where the noise was made by the bushes and we'll use the spray can to knock him out. Hey, is anyone there? So that's him knocked out. We're going to pick all the stuff up. Just double check that they can't, they haven't seen anything because if they have, they'll come and investigate. So just pick up all the stuff, snap his neck and that's the first one down. We're going to move around this way now, roof around to the left and behind this big concrete tube. That's number one then. We're going to follow this round and go through this gap in the fence. Now here, Officer we're going to be Dad. quick. He's sharp, so be sharper. And what the next kill we're going to make is using the fibre wire. So switch the fibre wire in your inventory. This is the reason I brought it. It's nice and clean. Sneak around here and have a look where your target is. As soon as he walks past you, you can see the other NPC hasn't entered the room yet. We can grab him and just drag him round the back of this box. Once he's round the back, we can hide him here. He won't get spotted. Just make sure all it's all tucked in. Pick all his junk up off the floor. And that's two. I'm going to just drop his gun behind here because I don't like carrying the... That's two. Don't make this personal or you'll get sloppy. And clearly he's not making that mistake. Next time, we're going to go up these stairs. It's like they're queuing up. Just make sure you break that line of sight. Pick up the lead pipe because it's good to have another throwing thing. Make sure they don't spot you. If they do, you can jump in the box just to the right. Here's our next target. He's just entered the room. Noticed any loners tonight? Someone else? And what we're going to do is we're going to wait for a distraction serious, maybe. for the I'm others. So sometimes you can throw the coin through the door and that will distract the guard. But if you've timed it right, you should be able to grab him when both the other guards are looking away. So now you could throw a coin to distract them, but because they're both looking away, we can just grab him. There we go, over the top. Subdue him and finish him off. I like to grab his gun just so that they don't come over and look for it and just chuck it straight on the floor. And you can drag him over to the box without getting spotted. Are you there, Agent Rose? Three down, two to go. We're going to go back the way we came. Just round to this corner here. Equip your pistol. And we're going to shoot out the security cameras here. There we go. Nice easy shot on that. And we're going to go up these stairs. These stairs give us a really nice route round. We can see that there's no one in here to worry about. And we can sneak round. Stick to the left hand side and you'll be fine. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to break line of sight here and we're going to equip one of the throwing things you picked up and we're going to take this guy out, the enforcer just here. So we'll move around and as soon as he turns away we can go after him, just knock him out, pick all this junk up again. I'm just going to drag him just round out of the way so there's no suspicion. Next thing we're going to separate the guard from this target. Again, pick up anything you can throw and just throw it next to this wardrobe. What that will do, that will split this guy off and we can swap to the next thing and just throw this at his head. And it's very easy to separate them and then we can just go after each one separately. So he's going to walk in. You won't see the body because we pulled it round the other way. Just wait till he's out of sight of the other guard and throw the brick at him. So that's another one down for the guards. This is a nice easy kill. One thing, you can do lots of different kills Headshot. on this guy because you can sneak in and poison his drink. You can, while he's looking for his binoculars, you can grab the sniper Tremaine, rifle and kill him with that. There? So there's lots of kills you can do on Tremaine. That makes four. If any of you make it out of this debacle, you'll be the laughing stocks of the ICA. All right, number five. I'm going to zoom in a bit. So there's a white dot just on the floor. When he gets to that point, I'm going to shoot this chandelier down, disco ball, and it's going to land on his head, and we're away. Going to drop our guns just so that we don't look suspicious to anyone on the way out, and out we go. Are you still there? That's five out of five, all done. We're going down the stairs and we're going to go straight out this door. And we're going to herd all this bar. Because we took the cameras out already, the camera won't pick you up there. Jump over here. And what we're going to do is going to switch to another throwing thing. So I think we've got the lead pipe left. Throw it at the pizza delivery dude. Drop down. Grab the key. As long as you're quick, you don't need to move the body. But you can if you need to, if you want to. We're going to run around and we're going to exit on the scooter. <laughs> And that's it. Out we go. Berlin Den. Five agents done. Nice, easy, clean run. No real issues there at all. And like I say, on the guy at the top of the sniper rifle, there's a few challenges of different ways to kill him. But this is nice, easy. Headshots are always good. Bit of fiber wire in there. Two snap necks. Yeah. Very happy with that mission. And obviously, doing quite a few of the challenges leading up to that while I was practicing different routes. And yeah very very pleased with that run and it puts us like really high and after completing that and finishing in position 670 that actually puts me in the top 0.19 percent of players who have done this mission for score pretty happy with that we're halfway through season three now so we're nearly at the end of the hitman trilogy once again, guys, thank you so much for your support. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. You're hurt. You should see the other guy. Never killed nobody before. What you did back there. You really are all the Grey said you'd be. 47. He didn't suffer, did he? He made it count. Bruised, but not broken. I'm glad. It's time we start afresh, you and me. Get to the point. You and your friends pulled off the impossible. You stormed the heavens, took down the untouchables, and yet, here we are. Status quo. It just goes to show, you can't fight power, Miss Burnwood. Power never dies, it only changes hands. 
The best you can do is claim it. I never cared about power. Power is a tool, Miss Burnwood. It's the thing that gets you to the thing. As the next constant, you can be the agent of change. Transform the system from the inside, or be transformed by it. No risk, no reward. I'll need to think about it. No, you won't. The real question is, what will you bring to the table? <laughs>